Russell, and I'm here today at the Piano Outlet in Coral Springs, Florida. Russell Jr. Wave at the piano people. <laughs> anyway, we're here to do something a little different. Normally, I will show off one of our pianos that are going out for delivery, showing you how they're beautiful they are and this and that. But today, we're going to be doing something different. Um, about a month ago, we received a huge shipment from Japan. I think uh, there's a video actually on uh, YouTube right now. It's the first one. And you'll see us unloading it. And uh, that, uh, we got like 20 grand pianos on that boat. This is the last one. And I saved it. I was going to unpack it. And I said, wait a minute. We've never done a video unboxing a grand piano from Japan. Because the last people to set their hands on this piano were in Japan. Or Japanese. Our friends over there that get these pianos together for us. They wrap the pianos up with these huge giant futons, which is basically the same thing as a mattress and cardboard before they put them in the container. And then these boxes here, they actually take from people that have received brand new pianos and they save all the uh, boxes and then they reuse them and they put all the legs and the pedals, get put in these boxes here and sent back to them. So, right now we're going to start unboxing it. First thing let's do is uh, let's open up the box of the way. We don't normally cut it, we save everything, but at the same time. Now look at the way this is packed in here. The same way it's packed if it was a brand new piano. Okay? Alright, now we can take these off. And this is the way we send the, the pianos to your house. We use the same packing materials. Okay? You see the lay, the wheels are old, these get replaced with new ones. When the pianos are finished and they're going out. Here's another one here. I'll unwrap this. Okay. And I'll throw this. By the way, this is a Yamaha G3. I have a gentleman that wants this piano. His name is Lionel. He's going to see this video. He's going to see this piano as we unpack it. All right. Now we have to be careful when we take this blanket over. We want to make sure that the lid is taped. Otherwise, it would fall. The lid would fall open. We don't want that. So let's get the cardboard out of the way here. Take a video of the other side. It's kind of crazy, but in all the years we've been in business, we've never made a video like this of unpacking the Yamaha brand. Unboxing. Everything gets saved. With the bolts, just so you know, we get four short bolts, okay, and two long ones. The long ones are for the back leg, and the four short ones are for the two front legs. Which one are you doing? Back leg? Who's going to do the back leg? 
Now, very important, a lot of people see the way that we set these pianos up and break them down, and they kind of freak out because we use the pedal wire in order to balance the piano when we tip it over. And a lot of movers don't do that because they're afraid that the pedal wire is going to break. And I'll demonstrate in a second so we get to that part. Another thing that movers do by mistake all the time, they take these butterfly screws and they'll use a wrench to tighten them. There's a reason why they are butterfly screws. The reason is Yamaha would really prefer that when you put these pedals on, you only use fingers. That's why they're butterfly screws. A lot of times you'll see movers, they'll take a wrench and they'll go like this with the wrench to tighten the butterfly screws and they'll break them. And it's really pretty much common sense. A butterfly screw is for your hand to tighten. So that's all that is required is to be hand tightened. Now this is the step that I was talking about. The next step is tipping the piano over. So what happens is that people that don't have a lot of experience and don't know about the Yamaha pianos too much, don't realize that you could set the piano up with the pedals on. And what happens when you don't, it makes it more difficult because, as you'll see, when we tip the piano over, um, the piano is going to rest on the pedals, which makes it much easier to put the last leg on. So, you're going to kick it over? Yeah. Bit? I'm going to try. It's a little strong. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to move it over because when we tip it over, this part of the piano you want on the pallet because when you start to tip it over, this is going to want to fall right down to the concrete and be a nice big crack over here, which you'll see on a lot of pianos that won't move properly. So, you want me to push and you hold it? I, you don't you need to hold the piano. Okay. Let me get my throat. There we go. See, that was hard. You want to fold this up? Better? First, we don't, and then. Okay, this is an important step. This is the most important step of setting up the piano, is tipping it down. If you don't tip it on the pedals, it's much more difficult. Yeah, that's good. Right there. So we're going to throw this underneath, okay? And then we're going to go down. See how the pedals go on the blanket? When we tip it up. Ready? Go. Yeah. One, two, three. Ta-da! Now, if those pedals weren't there, there's nothing to hold the piano up. You'd have to have somebody over there actually holding the piano physically before you get the last leg on. But this is totally correct to set up a Yamaha Grand. These pianos are built to be set up this way. It's a factory way of setting up the Yamaha Grand. Now, some pianos you can't, especially older American-made ones. The pedal wire will crack and break, but on a Yamaha one. Go. 
And there she is. She's all ready to go. There you go. So now if you look inside this piano, not too pretty. They, they come in, and a lot of times this is typical for any piano that's 20 years old, 25 years old, 30 years old, rusty strings. Um, normally what dealers do is they, they just clean these, okay? We don't just clean them. Basically what we do is we take them all out. So when you get your piano from us, as you know, they come to you brand new. Anyway, I hope that you... Thank you very much for watching. Thank uh you. -huh.